Hey folks, uh, this lesson is Angle of Rotations and Radian Measures. This is the first lesson of Module 18 in our IM3 books. Uh, so what is the relationship between the unit circle and radian measure? Okay, so, so angles of rotation and radian measure. So definitions here. The first one is an angle of a rotation is an angle that's formed by a starting um, the position of a ray. So typically we start it on the x-axis right here okay so it starts on the positive x axis okay and so this is called the initial side this is called the terminal side okay that's what that says right there okay so where it starts is the initial side and where it ends is the terminal side and so this would be called angle theta that's the greek letter theta it looks like an, an, a zero or an o with a little line slash through it so that's the angle theta right there and so when an angle is positive like this one it goes in this direction counterclockwise and when it's negative it starts here and goes in this direction right here okay so this is zero degrees right here would be 90 degrees and then over here this straight line would be 180 degrees and I just keep adding 90 so this would be 270 degrees and then plus 90 is another 360 so all the way around is 360 degrees right there okay so let's construct each angle measure on the graph below okay so remember this is zero or 360 this is 90, this is 180, this is 270. And if I wanted to go this direction, this would be negative 90, this would be negative 180, this would be negative 270, and then finally negative 360, okay? All right, so 257, okay? Well, 257 is down here somewhere. It's going to start here. It's going to go all the way over here, not quite to 270, so I'm guessing like right about there would be 257. It's 13 degrees off of 270, okay? So if that's 270, just go back, just guesstimate about 13 degrees, okay? And then negative, a negative angle starts here and goes in this direction. So this is negative 90 right here. So if I add another 13, this is also going to be negative 103 degrees right there, okay? So those guys are called coterminal angles. So coterminal angles share the same terminal side. So uh, 257 and a negative 103 are called coterminal angles, all right? So let's draw an angle of rotation of 310. Okay, what quadrant is that in? Okay, so remember, here's 90, here's 180 going in this direction, here's 270. So 310 is going to be over here about 40 degrees further over here. So um, it's going to be over there in quadrant four right there. Remember, this is quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four, Roman numerals, okay? All right, so on the same graph, draw a positive coterminal angle. What's the angle of measure? Okay, so watch this, you guys. Here is 360 right to there. Are you with me? And then if I just go another... Um, uh, 310 that would take me right there so I just went around once that's in part of an angle and you just keep going the rest of the 310 so 360 plus 310 gets me 670 degrees so this red arc means we're going around the circle once and then another 310 all right let's draw um, uh, a negative coterminal angle what's its measure okay so if this is 310 to right here then this is 360 so if we go back in this direction that's going to be a negative 50 degrees right there okay so when we go clockwise it's negative all right what would be a measure of another angle measure that's negative coterminal angle well i'm just going to add 360 so if i go here's Here's negative 360 right there, and then we just add that negative 50 right there. So we get uh, negative 410 degrees, okay? So those are all coterminal angles. Um, 310 is coterminal with 670. It's also coterminal with negative 50 and negative 410 right there, okay? All right, a circle is not always represented in degrees. It's also measured in radians, okay? So recall the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. Well, this is in radian measure. So in terms of pi, that's a radian measure. So in a unit circle, the radius is one unit. So it's 2 pi times 1, or just 2 pi. So that's the, this is the same as 360 degrees in a unit circle. Okay. So in a unit circle, what radian measure is 180 degrees? Well, 180 degrees is half of a circle, so half of 2 pi is going to be just pi right there. 
All right, what about a radian measure of 270? Well, that was 3 fourths of a circle. So we just take a 3 fourths of 2 pi, and then this goes into that 2 times, so it becomes a 3 pi over 2. Okay, all right, so here's a unit circle in radians. Okay, we're going to divide this circle up into 24 parts. Okay, so when I was doing this in my class, I first did this. I, I constructed, you know, here's the y axis and then here's the x axis. Okay, and we're going to divide it up into 24 parts. All right, well, 24 goes into 360 uh 15 times you guys so we're going to create little 15 degree angles right here about right there is 15 degrees so just keep going straight over there so and then another 15 degrees would be 30 degrees so there would be 30 another 15 degrees would be 45 so go right through there and then 45 plus 15 is 60 and then 60 plus 15 is 75 75 plus 15 is 90 and just keep doing that going all the way around okay so there it is divided up into 24 parcels right there now the reason why these ones are in blues which is the 15 degrees this was 75 degrees this was 105 degrees this one's 165 degrees and so on we don't really focus on those ones right there we just so we'll just take them out but I'll use them right there all right now what we're gonna do is uh, put them in terms of pi okay so here's zero Zero and 2 pi. This is uh, half a circle, so that's pi. This is 3 fourths of a circle, which is 3 pi over 2. And then 1 fourth of a circle is pi over 2. Okay, now, since we divided it up into 24 sections all the way around, that means that there's 12 sections on top and 12 sections on bottom. Okay, well these 12 sections are, they all give us a term of pi. So each one of these is 1 twelfth of pi, or pi over 12. This would be 1 pi over 12. This would be 2 pi over 12. Well, 2 pi over 12 is pi over 6. This would be 3 pi over 12. 3 pi over 12 is pi over 4. 4 pi over 12, which is pi over 3. So there's those guys right there, okay? This is 5 pi over 12. This is 6 pi over 12. This is 7 pi over 12. This is 8 pi over 12, which reduces to, 4 goes in there, 2 pi over 3. 9 pi over 12 is 3 pi over 4. 10 pi over 12 is 5 pi over 6. 11 pi over 12 and 12 pi over 12, okay? So that gets us that part right there. 13 pi over 12, 14 pi over 12, which is 7 pi over 6. 15 pi over 12, which is 5 pi over 4. 16 pi over 12, which is 4 pi over 3. 17 pi over 12, this is 18 pi over 12, which reduces to 3 pi over 2. Okay, this is 19 pi over 12, this is 20 pi over 12, which gives us um, uh, 11 pi over 6. This is 21 pi over 12, which is 7 pi over 4. 22 pi over 12, which is 11 pi over 6. This is 23 pi over 12. Finally, 24 pi over 12 gives us that 2 pi right there, okay? All right, so we want to focus on these pi values, these blue guys right here. So here's a gimmick right here. As I go away from the x-axis, this is the x-axis, these denominators go 6, 4, 3. Watch, over here, when I go away from the x-axis, the denominators go 6, 4, 3. Away from the x-axis, the denominators go 6, 4, 3. Same over here, 6, 4, 3, okay? Now these are all just pi's on top, okay? 6, 4, 3 and put pi's on top. What do you notice about these numerators? They got the pi's on top, but check out the numerators. These are one less than these denominators. So they still go 6, 4, 3, but this is 2 pi over 3, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 6. Okay, 6, 4, 3 down here, but look at these numerators. These are one more. Okay, so these go. These are one more pi over 6, 4, 3. And these ones, it's kind of hard to see, but if I double the denominator and subtract, it's, it's one less than twice the denominators on that. So that's the patterns I see on those guys right there. Okay, all right, so let's see. So to convert from degrees to radians, we take those degrees and multiply them by pi radians divided by 180 degrees. And to go from radians to degrees, we multiply the radians by 180 degrees over pi radians, okay? So here, we're going to convert 
each uh, to radians. So we're going to multiply 20 degrees times um, pi radians over 180 degrees. Same with this one. Going to multiply both of those by pi radians over 180 degrees. Okay, so 20 goes into 180. The degrees will cancel, so we'll be left with pi over 6 radians right there. Or pi over 9, sorry, pi over 9, okay? Over here, this goes in here negative 3 times, so this becomes negative 3 pi radians right there. All right, let's do the same. Let's convert these to two degrees. So we're going to multiply these guys by 180 divided by pi radians. So let's do that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just slide that up right there. All right, so now the pi's cancel, so the radians cancel, and then 3 goes into 186 times, so we're left with our 60 times, so we get 60 times 4 is 240 degrees. Over here, 12 goes in here 15 times. Again, the pi radians cancel, so we're left with negative 7 times 15. Negative 7 times 15 is negative 105 degrees. All right, you guys, if you are in my class, that would be your assignment right there. Take care.